This video is a brief tutorial for users of the lists shortcut file, which is included in the shortcut file library of the inline scripts plugin. The lists shortcut file allows the user to manage lists of strings. It's used by a number of other shortcut files, notably the shortcut files for the mythic GME game systems and other word mail games, all of which use lists to great effect. I'm going to give a rundown of the functionality through examples, starting with the basic shortcut lists. Lists shows all list information. It can be really useful, but can become cumbersome when you have too many lists. So let's add some data to lists. Empty lists are treated the same as non-lists, so you don't have to create a new list to add items to it. You just add items and it will automatically add the list if it's not there. So I just added John to the list PCs. Let's take a look at how it looks in the lists data. Great, so we have PCs John. Let's add another character. Let's add a different list. Okay, now we have the NPCs list and the PCs list, each of which have two items. The lists shortcut is still useful, but an alternative is lists list PCs. Lists list shows the items of a single list, which can become useful as you get more and more lists going. Another useful shortcut is lists pick PCs, which picks a random item from a list. Lists can also contain duplicate items. You'll see that PCs now has two Ben's and one John. The lists shortcut file also allows for custom types of lists. For instance, In this case, we actually created a list that pulls its items from a folder in the vault. And when you include a custom list, it includes type information for that list. And it shows up in the proper list too. At this point, the list shortcut is starting to get cumbersome. Another custom type is combo lists. Combo, we'll say characters, PCs, and PCs list characters. So a combo list contains the items from zero or more other lists. In this case, PCs and NPCs. It combines them together to make one large list. You can also combine combo and folder lists. We're going to replace the PCs list with items from the PCs folder. And as you can see, it works just fine. And if you look at the characters combo list, It still contains the combination of PCs and NPCs, but now PCs is a folder list. And you can handle custom list types just the same as normal lists. For instance, on a side note, if you're using the state shortcut file, which I highly recommend that you do, because it allows you to save and load your state between Obsidian sessions, then the lists get stored as part of the session state. So if we take a look at the current session state with the state get shortcut, you can see that the state string stores all the list data that we've been creating so far this session. There are a few other shortcuts that I should go over. For instance, lists remove PCs Ben. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't remove from folder types. Let's try again with the NPCs. Lists remove NPCs Clark Kent. Lists, list, and PCs. It removes an item. In the case where the list contains multiple instances of the same item, it will only remove one of those instances. You also have lists, remove list, PCs, which will remove an entire list. A fairly uncommon thing to want to do, but it's there. And combos will treat that okay. So lists, list, characters, which is a combo list is only showing Lois Lane because PCs have been removed and the NPC's Clark Kent has also been removed. 
And there's one more shortcut to go over. If we take a look at lists, this is what we've got left. We can also run lists reset. If we take a look at lists now, there's nothing left. And that's a pretty good rundown of all of the shortcuts provided by the lists shortcut file. I hope that helped. This shortcut file is pretty important for if you're doing anything with the mythic or adventure crafter shortcut files. So it's good to know about it. And it's also just a convenient way to keep track of list of strings. So that's it. Thanks for watching.